hey guys welcome back to another new video so in this video we are going to check out a custom rom for samsung note 3 specifically exynos version so the model of this device is uh samsung smn 900 so this video is specifically for that device so exynos variant so in uh redmi like samsung note 3 series there are few other devices in a different model number so those devices actually will not work with this custom rom and also this custom is not really great even for n900 just i have installed this rom so going to review this one so this rom is actually uh lineage os 18.1 based on android 11 there are a few bugs and few major bugs actually with this rom and i'm going to review a few other roms for this device it's really difficult to find a custom rom for this old device about 10 years old uh, and also most of the links you will find I'm already uh, unveiled, so it's really tough to find. But still, I have found few ROMs, and first ROM I have found is this 18.1 ROM, which based on Android 11. So let's go and check out this ROM. First of all, if we go here, and as you can see, SMN 900. As I said, this is specifically for SMN 900, and I will put TWRP and everything there. Installing ROM is pretty like. Very simple here, you no need to unlock bootload or anything. Just flush the TWRP with Odin and be mindful about when you flush TWRP with Odin, uh, uncheck the auto reboot feature from the Odin flasher because if you reboot the device directly to the OS, then the TWRP will be dismissed. So TWRP will not be installed in your device. So in Odin, you just uncheck auto reboot and directly boot your device to TWRP pressing home button power button and the volume up button together from download mode so that's one thing you have to remember so as you can see here we are in android 11 so as you can see lineage was 18.1 and november 5 2021 is security patch and this is a proper android 11 for this device actually and it does work so as you can see it's actually comes with all the features of android 11 but as i said the this ROM actually is not really a perfect ROM actually and I've been looking for a good ROM for this device to use and make it a little bit useful. So in the setting you can see here and there are a few things we have to check out. First of all we have Wi-Fi hotspot option and we can share 5 GHz band from directly from here. And this device actually doesn't support 4G. This one is Exynos variant so it doesn't support 4G. So most probably when you install this ROM uh, it will not get network. Now I have a network here, so you have to choose preferred 3G from here. Usually it is selected 4G, so you have to select 3G. Now these are the things which are working just fine here. And about the battery, I can't say anything about battery because the battery on my device is shit. So I'm not going to tell anything about battery. And if you go here, one thing about uh, Android 11 based ROM, you get like full screen gesture support, but in this ROM there is no support and the bugs on this rom actually will not be fixed because the developer who actually bought this rom for this device they are not working on it anymore so that's why you are not going to get anything here and one thing about this rom actually um, i have reviewed the original stock rom of redmi uh, like samsung note 3 and you can check out that video there were like more than 50 plus applications which were pre-installed but in this rom there are only few as you can see here and it does come with a camera application here which is uh, snapdragon camera but you can only take photos with this camera app you can't take video even you can't use any other application to take video there is issue with the rom and rather than that few more things to uh, talk about is that uh, you can install like latest application like youtube in like android 5 you cannot install in youtube but here as it is running on android 11 you can uh, install youtube and the rom performance is quite good actually and everything works pretty well but although it has like double tap to a uh, work feature in the rom but it doesn't work here but you can turn off the display directly double tapping on the status bar that's working just fine and if you open the s pen so it will show something like this although the s pen as you can see here it's showing like a uh, cursor if you find in the windows or mac os so it's similar to that but it's working just fine as usual so now come to the bugs of this rom which are the major bugs 
first of all network bug in network issue i have told you and now another thing is that there is no like no sound from this device even if you use earphone you will not get any sound uh, speak like a uh, main speaker and the ear speaker doesn't work as you can see here no sound the proximity sensor doesn't work if you really want to make phone call with this device you have to use bluetooth earphone otherwise you can't do there is no way you can like fix this issue too i i did try to install like fix the issue with magisk but i could not able to fix and in the like the developer said they will not fix any issue with this rom it will be as it is so that's why i'm saying that this rom is probably is pretty much useless and if you like make phone call you can make phone call or you can do whatever you want so like all as you can see the proximity sensor doesn't work if i put it on a speaker you can't hear anything one thing you can do is just you can like uh, connect your bluetooth earphone here like and you good to go bluetooth earphone does work even headphone jack also doesn't work here it's kind of strange actually even the headphone jack also not working it's it's uh the bug is actually in the core of this rom so it's pretty difficult to fix by myself it has to be done with the developer so there is no way you can fix this rom other thing about this rom which is a bug is that there is no auto rotation so you the device doesn't auto rotate as you can see here the auto rotation is turned on maybe now now so the auto rotation is on so it, it is not working one more thing about this rom issue is that there is no auto brightness feature you have to do it manually rather than that everything works just fine there are these few bugs which make this rom actually pretty much unusable but still if you want to install this rom i will put the link in the description below you can download it from there and flush the rom i will put the twf earring and also rom and also gf's link so that you can flush and it is pretty smooth actually it's much better than uh, stock rom came with this device it's pretty much better than that that's this few bugs which actually made this rom unusable but i'm still looking for a good rom for this device and i will update you later on so that's all about android level rom for this rom thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time Thank you.